Hello everybody. I couldn't get the drones working this weekend, so I decided to release a different vanilla ship, because I know that vanilla ships are a lot easier to download, and even though I've released a couple of non-vanilla ships, mods are mods, and it requires a lot of effort. So, this is a vanilla starter ship. It can replace your default uh, spawn ship, if you'd like. And it's called the Homesteader A. And I'm going to show you its features. The biggest feature it has is onboard AI. Let's do the other features first. You can see that one of its features is this amazingly, um, either incredibly ugly or somewhat ugly profile. <laughs> In the back, you can see that it has both oxygen and power ready to be generated at your need, so it is largely self-sufficient if you need it to be. It also has this Gatling turret. The Gatling turret starts off and uh, therefore this is multiplayer friendly because you can take it into a zone where the other players are not part of your faction and it won't blow them away. The onboard AI will turn this turret on if damage or hacking is detected. So, you can have yourself a little bit of self-defense with, without blowing away potential friends. And down here you can see that there is various kinds of things going on, none of which are actually important but they do make the ship look vaguely interesting. Here is the entryway, and depending on how it uploads, either you will have this uh, fun little glitch that I found, or you won't. The door is open, but the oxygen flows nicely without any depressurization. And that's a glitch involving one frame of door closing animation and then turning the door off. Uh, if it didn't happen, you can cause it to happen um, just by using the standard airlock cycling system that I've got installed. So there are a few timers, including one spare in case you need it. There are uh, five small cargo containers, only one of which can be easily reached from in here, but all of which are attached to the uh, system. And of course there is the all-important recently released cryopod, and air, and gravity, and a nuclear reactor, and medicine, you know, all the things you need to survive. There's also a few small roleplay details like a bed, and a seat, uh, and uh, some buttons. These are not roleplay buttons, but they are control buttons, and they do uh, frame the bed rather nicely. There is an interior turret, which follows the same rules as the exterior turret, and will happily turn on if it detects any hacking. Here are some buttons. We've got the button to turn off, to reboot both of the AI. We've got the button to turn the exterior Gatling turret on and off manually. Uh, we've got the button to put the ship into sleep mode which stops it from broadcasting and also makes it go dark in various other ways. And we've got the button to toggle the airlock. The airlock toggle um, uh, just basically closes and uh, changes the door's power, uh, and it's a good way to do a very, very basic system. And if you are uh, doing it right, you can actually get it to use this glitch and freeze in this accessible pressurized way, which is a horrible glitch, and if you don't like it, feel free to not do that. We've got two AIs, Freya and Tyr, and here are their uh, uh, code, uh, you know, here is their program output. Uh, Tyr will draw you a map, and as you get close to the map, it will draw faster. So here you can see the map of your ship, and if you were to plug this into a station or something, you could hit reboot, and uh, Tyr would take care of that and draw the whole station. And here's Freya. Freya will make sure that you don't accidentally cap off on oxygen, because then you wouldn't be able to depressurize. And she'll also try and keep your batteries charged. The ship as a whole handles rather badly, but of course it is a spawn ship, so it's kind of intended to. It doesn't handle, in, you know, it doesn't handle incredibly badly, but it does take quite a while to accelerate and decelerate, so plan your motions accordingly. As you might have predicted, uh, this ship does have a full system uh, with an assembler and that sort of stuff. It does not have an arc furnace because I wanted to keep it fairly simple and you know at XPAR we are all about saving costs and uh, you know if you wanted to build an arc furnace you could do so. But it does have an assembler and a um, uh, you know all of the other things oxygen generator, oxygen can, uh, refinery, everything else you need to get your ships running and it's got one of these lovely, lovely docking ports. This ship is available now for the low, low price of zero. So if you wanted to play around with it, you could. And uh, you could also look at the AI 
If you wanted to, you could even rip the code out and put it into your own chips. Uh, I have absolutely no problem with that. Feel free to do absolutely anything you want with any of my stuff. And I hope you can make a home for yourself in the stars.